Good day, my wonderful students. How are you today? I hope you are doing well, and I hope you are practicing your safety measures. I believe also that you are reading your notes, you are visiting your website, and copying your notes and doing the necessary assignment that follows. And also that you are getting ready for your second STEAM test. I hope you are doing all that. All right. Today we are going to treat our week seven topic titled Sexual Transmitted Disease. That is just as one student. Are you with me? All right. Sexual Transmitted Disease. That is our topic of today. Sexual Transmitted Disease. Yes, that is in short form, you call it XTI. HIV and AIDS. That is our topic of today. All right, let's see the learning objective of this topic. I believe by the end of this lesson, each and every one of you will be able to define sexually transmitted infections. That is STIs. That, and you'll be able to state the causes and signs, causes, signs, and prevention of XDIs and HIV. What are the causes? You'll be able to know the signs. You'll be able to know at the end of this class. All right, let's go into the detail of today's topic. All right, listen attentively. Definition: Have sexually transmitted diseases are venereal diseases commonly transmitted true sexual contact, true sexual contact. You cannot get it through drinking water or through eating food with your neighbor. It's true sexual contact. Yes, the common root of this problem is true unsafe sexual contact. Yes, unsafe sexual contact. What do I mean by that? Having sexual intercourse without protecting yourself. With that, you will get sexually transmitted infections like syphilis, gonorrhea, HIV, and so on and so forth. Are you getting? That is sexually transmitted infection. If you keep yourself, abstain yourself, and keep yourself only, be yourself, you will not get this infection. But if you decide to live wild life, if you decide to be messing yourself around, you are bound, you have 100% chance of contacting this infection. Is that taking? So that means you can only contact it or get it through sexual contact. When a man and a woman have slept together, do you understand? That is what I mean by sexual contact. Contact. Are you getting? When they sleep together, unprotected, are you getting? You, you are bound to have it. Even at this stage, you are not meant to engage in any form of sexual activity because it is not safe. Is that taking? All right, let us go down to see some types of sexual infections. There are many types of sexual infections they include gonorrhea, gonorrhea. This gonorrhea is one of the oldest form of STDs that exist in our society. Are you getting? And what is causing it? It is caused by bacteria known as Neisseria gonorrhea. That is the bacteria that is causing this gonorrhea. Once it enters your body through sexual contact, maybe the opposite sex has this gonorrhea and you engage in sexual activity without protecting yourself, that means definitely you are going to contact this gonorrhea and it is deadly. It is very deadly. That is why I said it is better for you to abstain yourself totally from any form of sexual intercourse is that taking because you will not know you can never know who has it is that taking all right 
Let us look at them, symptoms and signs of this gonorrhea. If you, anybody that has this gonorrhea will have frequent and painful urination, especially men. If they want to urinate, the urine, they, the, they, are, they will be having a kind of painful sensation through their penis. And the female also will be having sharp pain as they want to urinate. Do you understand? A pulse like discharge or drip from the penis or vagina. That is, it can be yellow, it can be yellowish, white, or greenish. A pulse, you can you'll be having a kind of discharge from your private parts. That means you have contacted infection. You have to see your doctor and run some tests to know the particular infection that you have with on in your body. Is that taking? All right. It's another cause is that another symptom is that it causes pelvic inflammatory diseases found mostly in females. That is under your abdomen, abdomen, you found out that you'll be having a kind of pain, heavy pain. Are you getting it? That means there is infection there causing that heavy pain. Is that clear? You have to meet your doctor immediately because delay is dangerous. Now, another thing it can cause, this, another sign it can give you is pelvic pain and fever. You'll be having a kind of feverish, you'll be feel, feeling feverish. Do you understand? That means you have to see your doctor, run some tests and know what is wrong with you. Is that taken? All right. Now, another thing, thing is persistent sore throat. Like you'll be having a kind of pain on when you want to swallow spit. Do you understand? You will be feeling as if something is growing in your throat. That is sore throat, and it used to be very painful. In this case, you need to see your doctor so that you run some tests. Now, let us look at this picture of gonorrhea. This is gonorrhea bacteria. This is how it looks. Follow my cursor. I, can you see my cursor? All right. Follow my cursor. This is bacteria infection. This is that yellowish or whitish pus from your private parts. Anybody that has this um, infection will be having this kind of pus from his or her private parts. You can see this uh, sign also. You can see this lady's hands swollen and reddish. It is a sign of gonorrhea. Uh, you can see this boil. The person will be having boil all over the body. Do you understand? It will be coming in this form. It, they are all signs of a gonorrhea. So what you need to know, what you need to do is quickly rush to your doctor, talk to your guardian, your parent. This is what I'm uh, uh, experiencing. And they will quickly take you to, your doc to the doctor and run some things to you, on you, then they will start up a treatment immediately. Is that taken? Because delay is dangerous. If it happens to go around your body, enter your body very well, that's, that is to say that the person will not survive it. But if you start on time to tackle it, you can still have chances of living a healthy life. But mind you, sexual intercourse, it is not proper for you at this point. It's meant for mommy and daddy. Is that taking married couple? Do you understand? All right. Now, let us look at another STI, which is called syphilis. This is transmitted through sexual intercourse. It is transmitted through sexual intercourse. And what is the cause? The, it is caused by bacteria known as triple Name Triponema pallodium. Do you understand? Triponema pallodium. That is the cause. It is not an English word. Are you getting? It is a microscopic uh, bacteria found out that is affecting people. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, this uh, bacteria is of 
three stages. We have first stage, second stage, and third stage. If you have sickly, sickly can come at first stage, at second stage. You know when it first new, it, it newly entered the body, it is at the first stage. At the point it started bringing out signs, some signs. Do you understand? It has entered the second stage, and finally when it start damaging some organs in the body, it is at the highest stage. That is called stage. Is that taken? All right. Let us look at some of the symptoms and signs of this sickness. Now we say that anybody that has sickness will have sores on the cells organ. As in your private part, you start having a kind of boil. Do you understand? A kind of sore that looks as if hot water poured on you and it will swell up like that. It is sign of sickness. Do you understand? You will be having fever, headache, rashes, and hair, lest your hair will start cutting off. And you get constant fever all the time, headache, rashes all over your body. That's to say that you have an infection. You need to run tests to know the particular infection that you are battling with to, and you tackle it immediately. Do you understand? Now, at another sign, you will see is at later stage it affects the heart. That is when it will enter the final stage. It will affect the heart, the eyes, and the brain. It can make one run mad. Do you know? It can make one run mad. It can lead to death because once it enters brain, it causes so many things. It can destroy that person. Are you getting? That is the last point. It can lead to madness or death. That is why anytime you notice you have any sign that is not normal on your body, please talk to the talk to your mommy or your daddy or your guidance. Anybody around you that you know you can trust, please talk to that person. The person will direct you on the right path, on the right thing to do at the right time. Is that taken? So that it, the problem will be tackled on time. Because if it should be ignored, it will get to a stage where one cannot handle it anymore, or where it will damage the person's cell. Are you getting? All right, let us quickly look at this picture. You can see this person's tongue, that the, the, this person has syphilis. You can see it has entered the second to last stage. It has started peeling the tongue, swollen and having a kind of sore in the mouth. You can see this person's palm having a kind of, as in, boil on the palm. So also on the leg. Do you understand? On the body, the person will be having rashes, like heat rashes. But it is not because the rashes will look so irritating. Are you getting? Whenever you are, you start noticing it, but not for you. But whenever one starts noticing it, you need to go to the doctor and run some tests to know what is wrong with you. And immediately you take off with we take it off with treatment that is for it. Is that taking? All right, let us look at the, the, this other XTI, very deadly one, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Do you understand? It's one of the frightening of all the XTI. Do you know gonorrhea, if you notice it on time, it can be cured. Sickness, if you notice it on time, it can be cured. But my dear, HIV till today did not have cure. And it is not written on the forehead. That is why you need to run away from anything sexual intercourse with anybody because you never know. You never know if me, as I'm seated here, whether I have HIV because it is not written on the face. You can see how beautiful my face is. Was it written on my forehead that I have HIV? No, it is not written on the face of anyone. Do you understand? So at this point, you trust no one. That is why sexual intercourse is meant for mommy and daddy. And before they should, they, they have to engage in that, 
they must have run series of tests and they make sure that they are okay, they are sound, they are fit. Do you understand? To start bearing children. Is that taken? So it's not a child game. Is that clear? Now, what is cause this HIV? What is causing is it's unprotected sex. It is caused by human, a virus called human immune deficiency syndrome. That is HIV. At the first stage, it will be HIV. Do you know it will be growing from stage one to stage two to the final stage? Then, then it will be called AIDS. That means that person is, is not, in fact, I don't think you can survive it anymore. But at the stage of HIV, there are still some little remedy. That is, if you dictate on time, is that taken? But as soon as it enters the stage of AIDS, that person is gone and gone for right life. Do you understand? So I said the HIV enters the body and kills the cells of the immune system. Do you understand? Through the unprotected sex, you find out that the opposite person, opposite sex you are having sex with is having HIV. Immediately it releases the semen or you discharges, the person has contacted the HIV. And the thing will be there. It can be for years. Do you know it can last for three years, up to four years? Living in your body, it will not show any sign. Do you understand? You won't even know that you have it until it starts giving you some signs. All, this, all the signs will start manifesting. That is when you will know that actually something is wrong somewhere. Are you getting it? So it is not proper for a children like us to engage in sexually transmit uh, uh, sexual acts. Are you getting it? To avoid sexually transmitted diseases, deadly ones like this. Even me, an adult, I'm scared of them. I'm scared of them so very much. So that is why I am sitting down here to teach you to let inform you how deadly they can be in your body and how they can destroy one's life and why you need to run away from any sexual act. Is that taken? All right, let's be going. The, I say that HIV makes the body weak and less able to fight sickness. Yes. It will kill if HIV, if it enters your body to first of all go and attack the immune system. Remember, our immune system is the, is the, uh, as in, how would I put it now? Is the soldier that is fighting all the bacteria that are, that want to enter our body, isn't it? They are there with their gun, waiting for any cough. If cough want to come, they will shoot the cough. The cough will go away. If uh, fever, uh, any sickness at all, they will shoot. But if immediately HIV enters your body and kill that soldier that is meant to fight your the bacteria that is that that are waiting to enter your body. Tell me what will be protecting the body? Nothing. The body will just be um, as in it will just be harmless. Are you getting? That means if cough should come. Cough should enter freely and sit down. If gonorrhea should come, gonorrhea should enter and sit down. If uh, malaria should come, it should enter and sit down. If infection should come, it should enter and sit down. Because the soldier that's, that is meant to fight them has been killed by HIV. That is the work of HIV when it enters human body. Is that taken? All right. People with HIV in their body soon become sick with AIDS. That is, if you don't notice that, fine. Some, it used to bring rash, rashes on them. They will start scratching. So many things, sores, fever, you know? If you, know, if you are wise enough and well informed, you quickly rush to the hospital and they will run some tests on you. If it is HIV, they will place you on antiretroviral drugs. 
that can be helping you to live your life. Do you understand? When it's still in the stage of HIV, but immediately it's, it has come to AIDS, my dear, it will start destroying the eyes, the brain parts, some parts of the body, because the, the antibody there, the soldier there, the immune system is no more. It is very, very down. It has gone. So to build it up again, it is, it's going to take a lot of time. And if care is not taken, the person will just die off like that, that taken. All right, AIDS results in death. Do you understand? If anyone, just like what I have been hammering to you, if anyone should have HIV and it results to AIDS, that person is gone. The person will die. That's the end of that person. Because AIDS has no cure. AIDS has no cure. That is why you must not engage in any sexual act at, at this point. Wait until you are blessed by God with your own husband and wives. Is that taking? All right. Let us quickly go down. As we look at the ways STIs and HIV and AIDS can be prevented. Which way can we prevent this HIV, STIs, from being uh, a victim? How do we provide, uh, prevent it? Do not have sex until you get married, just like what I've been telling you. Don't have sex until you get married. When married, stay, stay faithful, even if you are married, like me. Be faithful, stay faithful with your partner. If you are a man, be faithful to your wife. If you are a wife, be faithful to your husband. That is the only way you can run away from all these XT ads. Is that taking? Now, a woman with HIV should seek advice before getting pregnant. If you, are, if you notice, okay, for adventure, you've made a mistake and you were able to contact um, HIV, please, if you now got married, please, Seek advice from the doctor before you conceive. Is that taken? They are in good position to tell you, okay, your immune system is okay for you, will be okay for you and your baby now, you can conceive. Because if your immune system is not strong and you conceive, my dear, you are risking your life as a mother because your strength cannot carry you and that of the baby in your womb. Is that taken? Now, in all other situations, individuals are advised to use condom during sex. If at all anything should happen that you must have sex, use condom. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Very important. Because these deadly diseases, they are very, very deadly. HIV has no cure. Syphilis can kill. Gonorrhea can kill. If not noticed on time, is that taking? All right. Let us look at them. Let us look at other points that we can take to prevent the, all these STIs. When you cannot avoid blood transfusion, you know, some of us who will fall sick, you know, you go to hospital, they'll say your blood is too low. You are not, instead of you to die and, you know, there's no drug. At that point, they really need to infuse you with blood. My dad, they must, that blood must be tested and they must be tested, screened very well of HIV and other venereal infections. Is that taking? All right, insist. My dad, insist though that they must test them. If it is money, give them money because it is, it is your life they are talking about. Bring up money, insist that Oh, this blood you want to give me, please, it must be tested, it must be screened very well of some venereal diseases. I don't want to contact any of them. Is that taking? All right. Avoid the practice of some traditional rites, such as tribal marks, female circumcision. Some of us, we have marks on our face, 
some have here, some have here, some have all over, you know, some have their the map here. Do you understand they are all tribal maps? Do you have you asked yourself how are they doing or, uh, or, or doing, uh, doing this tribal map or giving someone this tribal map? Do you ever ask yourself whether is the blade they use for me that they are using for another person and they are using for another person? If it is so, it is very, very deadly. Therefore, you should run away from anything tribal map, all this tattoo that we are drawing on our body. Very dangerous. Very dangerous because it's still the same tool they are using to draw the tattoo on your body. That's the same tool they are using to draw for another person of which you don't know who has any disease um, or in her body. Are you getting? So avoid them. If you, those of us that are doing manicure, pedicure, go with your instruments. If it those of us that are, that are plating, doing a weaving, go with your needle and thread to the salon to avoid all these uh, infectious diseases. You can contaminate it through blood. If the blood of the infected person should stick on a needle or on the equipment used for that person, and the thing is used on you. And if there's any pierce on your skin, the person has contacted it. So that is one one need to take a good safety measure when it comes to this. It is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Another one is cover cuts and wounds properly because that is where syphilis can penetrate. Syphilis can penetrate through it. Do you know? HIV can penetrate through it because they all go with blood, fluid. Even gonorrhea. Whenever you have cord, please make sure you go to chemist, doctor, or health center, anywhere. Rush, take phase eight. Cover them properly and be safe. Is that a thing? All right. Do not share blade. Do not share blade. Rush some of your personal belongings, use them by yourself. Don't use another person's own. Because I know you, my children. You will say, ah, it's my sister, it's my brother. No, you, at this point, you're supposed to have your own brush by yourself. You're supposed to have your own, all the sharp objects you are using, you should use them only by yourself. Don't share with anybody. Even with your siblings, don't share. Do you understand? Even with your mommy and daddy, don't share. Use your own. Tell mommy, tell daddy to get your own for you. Is that taken? Yes. Now, I believe with this explanation, you were able to gain the learning objective of today, which says definition of sexually transmitted infections. And you will be able to state the causes signs and prevention of STIs, which is uh, gonorrhea, syphilis, and HIV and AIDS. Do you understand? And I hope you enjoy this class. If you actually enjoy this class, my dear, practice the safety measures, just like the way we are practicing the safety measure during this pandemic. Do you understand? That is how you ought to, you have, you ought to practice it. Do you understand? You have to practice it. You, always, you have to be always conscious of yourself. Don't even allow anybody to touch your private path. Stop more of entering there. Be you a boy, be you a girl. Guide yourself jealously. Is that taken? That is your pride, as I will always tell you. This is Mrs. Oduma speaking. It is your pride. Yes, it is your pride. Hold yourself guide yourself, and keep it to the rightful owner. Are you getting, who is the rightful owner? Your husband, your wife, they are the rightful owner. That is what makes you a responsible child, a reasonable child, and a well-trained child. Is that taken? Yes, I believe you all enjoyed this class. With this, I'll bring you to the end of this class, and I wish to see you again in my next class, yes. But before then, 
I will still remind you, practice your safety measure, hold yourself, and make sure you help mommy and daddy read your notes, go online, do your assignments, do all the necessary things you need to do, my dear Rich. This is second stint test coming up very soon. I want you to do better than you did at the first stint test. Is that taking? And as you are doing that, I wish you the best of luck. Hmm? I say bye for now. Still remain your teacher. This is Uduma Vivian, your home economics teacher. Miss you so much, and I love you all. See you in my next class. Bye.